Now here I am trying to go through and uh, plug in over here the AC supply. I can leave this off for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever. Plug in the back of the unit. I'll have the best of set up here. When I do that, this is fairly typical over here. Now I don't have 12 volts and 5 on the SATA. And that's run off the run. If I go over here and look at the all side, I can go through and hook a fan up. Now let's short this thing out. What is it? Pin 2? Pin 2. It's actually pin 4. That's 12 volts. That's 5 volts. And I'm going to try to kind of put this in here. If I get a little spin, the sucker will actually even run on 3 volts. It's kind of funny, it's a 24 volt fan. So the all side over here is running. All these voltages over here are on. The other side is dead. And it's been fairly random on that which means over here a lot of times I'll plug this in and this boom it'll show the solder voltages the run is on so what I'm doing is I'm plugging the AC connector in over and over again and sometimes the LEDs will light meaning this run is on other times it's not and I'm not doing anything different but just randomly plugging this in. So it's a little bit strange what's going on there. Um, I'm to probably try to get another logic board. Again, here's how you turn the backlight on. You plug that in there. Take the gray connector. Pulling it high to 3 volts through resistor. There's the backlights on. Anyways, this is a early 2006 iMac that tended to overheat uh, I believe overheat if you went ahead and ran the thing through of a video conversion for about 10 or 15 minutes it would just shut off dead as a doornail as a characteristics and also if you turn the brightness up pretty high it would just like bang it would go off and there was no noise but it would just go through and turn off and did nothing you could do to turn it on and one day I let Left it off the next day, turned it on, boom, started up, used it for half a day. Then it died again. So I've got it apart to kind of see what the uh, what's going on. And this LCD inverter over here is the same inverter that's on. A late this model inverter here. The LCD inverter is the same one that's on a very, very late model G5. I think it's late 2005, early 2006 when they discontinued it. And then this is on a 20-inch iMac that was made in the first uh, half of 2006. There's a scope probe. There's the power supply. AC mains come into here. Got 12 volts. Mystery Brown connector goes the inverter that's some type of either an enable, whatever. You can unplug this supply and just measure here and it always is on. So the way this works is when you put the mains voltages here, the AC that goes from will be 100 volts to 250 AC, 50, 60 hertz, this 12 volts is always on. Now when you plug it in here to the inverter, I'm not sure if this is just a sense wire or I can go back and shut that sucker off. 
but the other part here, the LCD inverter, this half, as I mentioned before, is controlled by the, uh, is can be turned off. So in run mode, the run, 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 run here, the 3, 5, and 12 could be flipped on and off. And just for clarity, this is the uh, back width enable. You jumper this high, turns the backlight on. I believe that's full brightness, so I believe they modulate this uh, to get the brightness down. And this connector, if I pull this high through a resistor, it'll shut this bank off. And when I just turn the whole assembly on, typically this other side has been on. And it's just the oddest thing because I can I can get it to repeat or not repeat. So it might be that when I pull this high, I'm doing something I'm not supposed to be doing to turn it off. Anyways, this is a iMac EMC 2105 Mac Intel Core Duo 2006, and that's a 32 bit machine, it's not a 64. You can go through and pull the processor on it and put one from later 2006 and make it a 64 bit. It's a little bit I've seen people do it on the web. It looks a little bit uh, painful, but it can be done.